Fala aí galera gamer, tudo beleza? Fortnite aqui para mais um vídeo E estamos aqui, dentro do Instituto galera Bom, é, após eu entrar aqui no Instituto, eu saí aqui, dei uma andada para conhecer um pouco No que eu comecei a andar, eu escutei um, uma pessoa falando Uma pessoa falando assim, no, nas caixas de áudio né, nas caixas de som Ele se autodenomina O Pai e ele per... Bom, vou deixar o vídeo aí pra vocês verem esse momento aí. E ele acabou me dando uma... Bom, ele me deu não, acabou iniciando uma quest. Fiquem aí com o vídeo agora. Hello. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I'm known as father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Bom, parece que ele tá um pouco ansioso para conhecer a gente. Vamos só dar uma olhada aqui a missão, né, galera? Acabei esquecendo. É, no instituto, entre no elevador. Finalmente cheguei ao instituto. Preciso encontrar meu filho e um jeito de sair. Não tentei dar teleporte, nem vou tentar, galera. Tenho medo de bugar, não consegui voltar. Não, nem sei se é possível bugar. Tô falando isso desde o vídeo anterior. Bom, vamos entrar aí no elevador, galera. Antes, vamos pegar uma arma potente, né? Vai que aparece alguma coisa por aqui. Ah, vamos só dar uma olhada aqui. Inacessível. Jaleco do Instituto. Faz é o seguinte, eu vou pegar esse jaleco aqui, galera. <risos> eu falo que eu sou lixeira, pego tudo. Aqui eu já explorei. Explorei assim, né? Dei uma olhada aqui nas coisas. Peguei o que. Bom, acabou faltando um negócio. <risos> é, vamos andar aqui. Oh, interessante. Legal esse elevador, hein? Vamos entrar aqui, galera. Que medo. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. O que será que é esse pai aí, galera? Será que é uma inteligência artificial? This is the reality of the institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. E agora, hein? Será que tem que entrar aqui? Pra lá, antes de entrar, vamos só dar uma olhada aqui. Hum... E agora, hein? Não sei nem se era pra sair desse elevador. <risos> e agora, hein? Bom, vamos lá. Imagino que é lá, é a única saída. É o chão ali. É o chão. Espaçador. 
Vamos pegar tudo. <risos> Agora, galera, bugou a missão? Será? Caramba, o que tem que fazer agora? Será que tem que sair da Power Armor? com tanto medo de sair bugar, não sair, acabou bugando, parece. Vamos dar uma olhada no mapa aqui, do local. Não tem nada. Que estranho, galera. E agora, hein? Bom, vamos entrar de novo. Vamos lá. Será que tem que sentar? Galera, vou sair da Power Armor. Só pegar o reator, né? Por segurança. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Is that really you? Who are you? Sean, where is everyone? Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! What do you want me to do, Sean? What can I do? I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here. Help me! Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Esse é o pai, será? Sean, S923, recall code Cirrus. Ah, ele virou sintético. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. Eu vou, eu vou abrir a tua mente. Emocional, e que a sua jornada aqui foi enfrentada com desafios. Vamos começar de novo. Eu sou o pai. Bem-vindo ao Instituto. Pai? É o seu nome? O seu título? Pai é o meu nome oficial. É o que eu tenho que dizer para as pessoas do Instituto do Instituto. Just as. As você diz para o seu filho. Cadê meu filho? This very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well. Your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. Huh? I am your Como? son. How? Por isso que até que adivinhei. I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. 
You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believe that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? No, that is the sir. reality. And here I am, raised by the Institute, and now its leader. Miss Perky? But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synthesis. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course, but it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. The prisoner the Institute of the found me after discovering records from Vault 111, an infant. Frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like system. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... You've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Uh, Kellogg. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He hmm. never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Muita coisa. Sua mãe. Her mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Dano collateral? Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? What would you have me say? The world is a dangerous place. Although I think maybe it always was. It's just a bit more honest about it now. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation. And that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But 
What matters now is that you and I have a chance. É, recomeçar. Você com 60 anos. Galera, se tem algum corte aí, falou, falou alguma coisa, desculpa. É, igual eu falei, eu ainda não tenho placa de captura, eu uso a função share do Playstation. Então, se cortou alguma coisa, eu vou tentar recolocar aí depois. O Instituto. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. Como você pode saber alguma coisa de cima se você nem foi para lá? But director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more to But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs your presence would be appreciated as we approach them i've been a part of something amazing here i've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the institute and now after all these years you have an opportunity to help with that doesn't that intrigue you isn't that what you want uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, buddy. You want me to stay here? In the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute Sim. can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Por que não tornar a comunidade um lugar melhor? How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? Everything they've done. Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it too. No, no, they just I see. simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? Are Vou you assistindo. sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. Uh, don't mean term, no say. I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facility. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then Será que we'll foi o Shaw que descongelou a gente? Beleza. Bom, vou pegar a power armor aqui, galera. Não vou deixar ela aqui, não. About this synth. You mean the child? It's a fascinating project, really. There are issues to be solved, of course, but we've made remarkable progress. Strange choice. On more than one level. I can understand how it might seem that way. It was. It is something new. New discoveries are always welcome. I'll make sure it's brought back online in the near future. You'll have an opportunity to interact with him further. But I'll admit I'm curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me. What do you think? Do you think you could 
love him like you would a real boy. Seriously? You really believe a human could love a synth? That's a difficult question. I suppose it depends on how closely we've managed to mimic human behavior and emotion. É diferente. Yours is a unique position. You may be the only one that's truly able to answer these questions right now. I wouldn't claim to know everything you're feeling, but if in some small way the boy's presence can help, I hope you'll keep an open mind. Sean. Perhaps someday our synths can reclaim the Commonwealth. Our advances will in time change the world. Bom, acho que o bate-papo com ele acabou. Vamos ver se agora a gente consegue entrar aqui. Olha, galera, eles têm até parte verde aqui. Putz, brilho. Vamos fazer o seguinte, vamos aquela porta que abriu ali pra gente primeiro. Que isso? Será que esse... eu achei que era o quarto do chão, mas pelo visto não. Vamos dar uma olhada nos objetivos aqui, galera. Conheça os líderes do departa dos departamentos. É, bom, tô, tô cho um pouco chocado aí com essa história, galera. Sinceramente, não, não esperava por isso, não. Vamos ver se a gente consegue descobrir alguma coisa. Nossa, de primeira. Eu quero que era um ciborgue. É, tem como desconectar todos os sintéticos aqui, hein? Precisa só do código do diretor. Opa, olha só, galera. A gente já conseguiu assim? Hum... Estranho. Aquele código lá era só pra desbloquear. Tô até meio perdido aqui, galera. Sério, não, não esperava mesmo por isso. Não, não esperava. It's an honor to have you here, sir. Tem um aqui embaixo. Nossa. 
Vamos falar com eles aqui primeiro. Pelo visto, ela é sintética, né? Dr. Fillmore. Hey, what do you need? Pessoal do departamento. Of course. Dr. Lawrence Higgs is our mechanical engineer. He oversees the major life support and security systems. Power distribution is Dr. Evan Watson's area of expertise, and Dr. Newton Oberly is in charge of food and housing. He coordinates with Bioscience to ensure that our meals are balanced for optimal nutrition. We also make use of a number of synth units for low priority maintenance and labor. It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. Bom, eu imagino que Não here is a great gift, not just to father, but to all of us. É um lugar até que bonito, né, galera? Acho que tem algum outro por aqui. Vamos tentar achar. Vamos ver aqui. É por aqui mesmo. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. Ransacking my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. I hope all your needs are being seen too. You just let me know if they're not. Doc. Welcome. Welcome. It is so good to meet you. I truly hope you'll come to think of the Institute as your home. Oh, I'm in charge of housing and provisions. It's my mission to ensure that everyone lives a comfortable and productive life. 
You should know that many of us consider it a great honor to have you here. Feeling well today? When the lights go down and the stars come out, man just forgets about all his troubles. Galera, só para explicar para vocês porque eu estudei esse tiro. Como eu já falei várias vezes, eu não tenho placa de captura ainda, então meus vídeos são de 15 15 minutos. E eu preciso e meu áudio eu gravo separado do, do jogo. Então isso é para sincronizar meu áudio com o vídeo. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. Onde será que entra aqui? Aqui. Vou só briga aqui, galera. Is vital preventing synth escapes. The director should take the synth escapes seriously. So, here you are, Justin Ayo, acting director of the synth retention bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future, <laughs> despite your relation to father. You're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precaution. Hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Um. Why would synths want to escape? Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. Yes, As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser. A third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. What I gather you know is you. since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. Experience in combat. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, Courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough workers. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. You mentioned that coursers undergo special training. Tell me more about it. The SRB constantly monitors our Gen 3 synth population, looking for specific traits. Those who show tenacity, Fearlessness and independence undergo a rigorous training regimen. We teach them armed and unarmed combat, investigative techniques, psychology, and mechanical skills. Those who pass a final evaluation become coursers. The rest have their memories wiped and return to their former duties. Well, Dr. Dr. Ayo, yes. What do you need? If you're the acting head of the SRB, who are you filling in for? Dr. Zimmer holds that position. He's supervising the retrieval of some of the more high-profile units. In his absence, I keep things running smoothly. Justin, aqui. what do you want? And please, make it quick. I'd like to know more about the synth reclamation process. Fine. Once a courser has located a rogue synth, it uses that synth's recall code to wipe its memories and render it inert. We then begin the delicate process of restoring the neural pathways of their original configuration. In those cases where the procedure is successful, the synth returns to duty with no memory of its time on the surface. All too often, we're unable to repair the damage and are forced to dispose of the unit entirely. Doctor, I have more questions. Yes, what is it? It's just remarkable. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. Vamos procurar outra aí, galera. Depois eu vou fazer uma exploração aqui. Não sei se vou achar alguma coisa, mas 
Eu imagino que sim, deve ter alguma boborré de revista por aqui. Mas isso daí é pra outra hora. Tô meio perdido aqui ainda. Acho que não é por aqui. Deve ser por aqui, será? Is it true your food supplement Gladi Mate 7 has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. Vamos ver se é aqui. Aqui. Abre essa porta. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Bom, tá aqui, vamos, vamos entrar. Ah, deixa aqui até como. Opa, será que tem? Vamos ver esse terminal aqui rapidinho. Excuse me, doctor. Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. What is it you're working on? Advanced systems, special projects. You've seen the boy, a, a synth, already. We've been hard at work on him for quite a while now. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a Courser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. O que isso faz? A Courser chip? What's it do? The same thing it does for our Coursers. Creates a link to the relay that allows them, and now you, to get in and out at will. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. Is Tudo everything bem? okay, Dr. Lee? You seem pretty tense. Yes, things are... It's fine. I'm sorry, I don't socialize much. I prefer to focus on my work. Povo sem educação, tá falando com eles. Quem se para de falar comigo? Tell me about the people in your division. I'm not sure what there is to say. Dr. Watson is the Specialist Project's lead scientist. He's, um, how to put it, uh, very organized and precise. Dr. Ormond is one of the youngest scientists in the Institute, and she's something of a prodigy when it comes to physics. Dr. Lee, I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the Child Synth, to focus on Phase 3. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. Dr. Lee, I'm good for now. Thanks. All right. Bom, falta mais um, galera. Vamos tentar localizar ele. I know you achieve great things here. Ok, vamos deixar até aqui. I've been reviewing Father's... Excuse me, Doctor. Warwick Welcome. Is doing... So good to have you here. Wally must Dr. Clayton Holdren, by now. head of the bioscience Any child I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Que trabalho. Like I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the bioscience division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora 
for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal iron. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Eu não vi nem os gorilas. Será que tem como sair? Não tem. Depois a gente vai ver os gorilas então. The gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? Ainda não sei. I'm not sure. Right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Uh, cuidados médicos. You mentioned medical care. I might need that from time to time. In that case, you'll want to introduce yourself to Dr. Dean Volford. He's our top biologist and also serves as the institute's resident physician. Dr. Volkert works in the infirmary. Just pay him a visit whenever you need to. You won't find better medical care anywhere else in the Commonwealth. I'll promise you that. Dr. Holdren, something I can do for you? Tell me more about those synth gorillas. On the whole, I'd say they were a success. Their behavior does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Unfortunately, we had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive, <laughs> and they're quite strong. <laughs> they destroyed two of their synth handlers. So now we keep them in an isolated habitat where they can be safely observed. Clayton. Anything I can help you with? Is there anything I can do to help out? I think Dr. Carlin was looking for help with one of his experiments. You should talk to him. Beleza. Bom, vamos procurar esses go go gorila aí, galera. Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project is showing promising results. <laughs> Father is a great man. You must be very proud. Bom, galera, pro vídeo não ficar mais tão longo. O vídeo vai ficando por aqui. Já completamos nossos objetivos. Descobrimos quem que é o Shao. Quem que é não. Onde está o Shao, né? Que estava aqui realmente no Instituto. Foi uma grande surpresa, hein? Saber que agora ele está com 60 anos. E não 10 como a gente pensava. Como se vocês acompanham meus, meus vídeos desde o começo, sabe? Sempre que eu sempre, sempre achei meio estranho. É esse negócio de falar que ele é uma criança. Primeiro, o pessoal achava que ele era um bebê. Eu já achava isso muito estranho. Depois falou que era uma criança. Eu continuei achando estranho, porque não tem relatos para saber, saber quando que ele saiu e quando nós fomos descongelados. Bom, mas vamos ficando com o vídeo por aqui. Vou tentar fazer alguma... Não sei se vou conseguir explorar tudo, porque eu imagino que isso aqui é grande. Então, se eu achar alguma coisa, eu volto com o vídeo. Se não, o vídeo vai ficando por aqui, galera. Bom, vou fazer o seguinte. Não vou explorar. Não vou explorar agora. Vou deixar isso mais pra frente. Porque o vídeo já tá bem longo. Então o vídeo vai ficando por aqui, galera. Se gostou do vídeo, deixe seu joinha. E se não é inscrito, se inscreva-se no canal. Valeu, falou!